I, as you know, I got my tea here with me. I got my hot tea. You guys, some of you guys have been requesting the hot tea to come back, and here it is right here, the hot tea. Only problem is the guy put cream on it or milk, whatever, half and half, something like that. I don't know. I'm gonna take a sip out of this tea, man. Mm. Still hot, man. Yeah, I like my tea black, but some cream inside is all right, you know? But anyways, we get down to business. I'm not here to talk about a tea. I'm here to talk about some pretzel king that I got from, uh, you know, not McDee's, but what's that place called again? BK. Let me smell the aroma. <sighs> yeah, that's what I need. Yeah. See the culprit in here? Take out this culprit. I think they got the Halloween thing going on on wrapper or something like that. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, my first impression of the, whatever you call it. Damn, look at that. Look at that monstro monstrosity king, they should call it. The Monstrosity King. Yeah, that's my name, Burger King. Don't steal it off of me. All right, so let's see what we got in here. Ooh, we got a lot of meat in here. So let's, ooh, uh, let's not fall down on me, bro. Or, or whatever you call it, uh, tripod. I'm tilted. All right. Let me try this Monstrosity. No, it's not the Monstrosity King. It's the Pretzel King, I believe. I'm not sure. I have to see the receipt. I didn't get a receipt. And I ordered a 20 piece, 10 piece nuggets with buffalo sauce, but I got barbecue sauce this time. See how I would change it up a little bit, you know? Just ignore this light that's shining on my, my video. <sighs> Man, I don't know what to say. I'm just gonna get it all out, bro. Gonna get it all out. Mm. Mm. So, What else? What else can I say? I'm gonna do, I'm drink some of this hot tea. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Some good hot tea in the morning time. Get your blood circulating. All right, so what I think about it, right off the bat. Um, let me take more bites because I know you guys like that kind of stuff. Mm. Right, so this is what you call a carb overload sandwich or burger. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is a pretzel burger, I believe. Let me see what the uh, bread tastes like. It tastes like a pretzel. Mm. I don't know, kind of does. I don't know. Mm. So, I was going to say. before I was rudely interrupted by that van that passed by in back of me. This burger. Okay, let me just start off by saying, I get to that part. Thank God for Burger King. And also White Castle. Because where else are you gonna get a, a burger? Nine o'clock in the morning time. No, come on, man. So, I went to McDonald's yesterday morning, like around 9.30 or something. I tried to get myself a triple cheeseburger. Guy tells me, you gotta wait till 11.30. I'm like, what the hell, 11.30, what the hell? What's wrong with 11 o'clock? 11.30 now, huh? So, I gotta wait till 11.30, man. I said, give me what you got, and I just left, you know? I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you what I ordered.
don't know if this comes in, in, in triple. Next time I'll buy the triple. I got a double, by the way. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. mm, -mm, -mm. Alright, so. <clears throat> Let me taste some of that drink. The ranting has gone on long enough. You can see I didn't get the uh, <clears throat> fries and a soda because I'm trying to come back on soda, first of all. And just by itself, have a lot of carbs. So, you know what? Stick the fries. Just gonna get a damn sandwich. So, I paid about seven dollars and some change for this. Mm. Hear those eating sounds, bro. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, so, as you know. I was driving down around my way. Well, not in my way, in a different uh, neighborhood. I came across somebody who recognized me. I mean, you know, people recognize me once in a while from time to time. They either stay quiet or they come up to me and say stuff. But I had sunglasses on. And I was with uh, my significant other, but that person walked way ahead of me, so it doesn't look like, you know. So I had my sunglasses on and I was walking towards, where was I going anyway? I forgot where I was going. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, well, no, Doug does. So, um,. I went into the nose, and uh, this guy recognized me while I was going inside. He called my name, Fudio. So I was like, what the hell? But it was food dip down. So I didn't expect this guy to call that cheese. Mm. I didn't expect that guy to recognize me. All right. So he recognized me. I was like, well, good work, good job. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about to put some mayo, some mustard in here, and cheese. Mm. All right, so. This sandwich is very deli esque, you know? It's something you get at the deli. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Too much cream inside, man. I can't even drink it. But yeah, I'm going back to my hot tea days. So, on a scale of what to 10? No, the five, I mean. So far, so good. I give it a uh, like a nine. Give it a five. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie because like I said, it's something different. It doesn't taste like a regular Burger King sandwich. With the mustard on top and the mayo. Tastes very deli-ish, deli-esque, something like that. What you gonna do, bro? You just eat it all out. To my pair too, just buy from food dip.
enjoying this damn sandwich. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace out.